Hello and welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're taking a deeper look at MPL RS5K Manager. We last looked at this in the What's New in Reaper 5.91 video. RS5K Manager from MPL is available through Repack. MPL's repository is one of the default packages that comes with Repack. So just synchronize your Repack and you'll have the latest version of this. Uh, it was recently updated and there's a lot of cool stuff in this. Uh, a lot of stuff that I, I didn't really even realize was possible um, until I started digging into it this morning. Go to the action list, type in RS5K, and then scroll down to the bottom to RS5K Manager Background. And that will pop this up. You can close the action list. This plugin will manage all the instances of Resample-Matic 5000. So if you are familiar with this plugin. We've covered this a bunch of times on the blog and uh, on the videos. This is just a really basic sampler, and this manager is designed to make it more accessible, easier to import samples, easier to manipulate all the settings. Using it for drum samples, you can set up a rack of drum samples and adjust them all within one panel. So I'll just select this track and I'll select one of the sounds. So here's the hi-hat. At the top of the window, you have gain, pan, pitch, ADSR, loop, start and end. You can do a lot of stuff with this. And I'll just select this on the left so we can see it at the same time. So I can adjust the release time, which is really just the fade out in um, Resample-Matic. We can change the sustain volume. We can change the decay time which gives us a different sort of curve for that release. We can change the pitch, and you can see that here in the pitch offset, how that's changing. Panning is right here. You can double click to reset any of the knobs. Then gain is the, the volume. So we have a chromatic layout here. and these correspond to the keys on the piano. This supports drag and drop, so you can drag from Explorer or Finder right into this manager. As you do that, it will add in a new instance of Resample-Matic 5000 with your selected sample, with the default settings, and you'll even have the note names uh, in the MIDI editor. Like that. So whatever these instances are called will come up in your MIDI editor. So that's not all. You can do a lot more with this. If you have multiple tracks, this manager will update depending on what's happening on that track. So if I have another instance of Resample-Matic 5000 on this track, then this manager would update with that and change as I change track selections. Don't need two tracks right now. A couple more things in the interface. We'll start with these plus and minus buttons here. So these change the octaves in view. And then the M button is for mixer, and that's changing the gain of the samples that are loaded on this track or being controlled by Resample-Matic Manager. And you can just click that again to go back to the key layout. The button up at the top left is your menu. So there's links to donate to MPL, to go to the forum thread and discuss this plugin, ask for uh, updates, help, things like that. Uh, there's some options for key names. So this is currently on keys, octave, and MIDI pitch. For me, that makes the most sense, having all that information on here. There, there's tons of room on this manager to do that, so it works well for me. You can also have this in Russian. You can have this set to keys and octave, so the, the pitch number will be hidden. You can have it on just the MIDI pitch, or you can have it uh, completely blank. In pad controls, we have FX, solo, and mute. And I'll show you those in a few minutes, but that's just these little buttons here on the interface. There are a few different layouts. It's currently on chromatic keys. We have chromatic keys, two octave, Korg nano pad, eight pads in two rows, so 16 pads total, Ableton Live drum rack, four by four, looks like that. The uh, Studio One Impact layout is pretty much the same. It might have different note names. And then there's the Ableton Push, which has 
an eight by eight grid. So you can have tons of samples on there. So let's go back to chromatic keys. That's kind of what I'm used to right now. You can also set this up so that when you run Resamplematic Manager for the first time, it will automatically set up the MIDI track with the correct input. And you can have that as uh, any external input or just the virtual keyboard. You can enable or disable sending MIDI by clicking on the keys. And when this is record armed and I click on this, it's going to send a MIDI signal out to the plugin here so that it uh, responds. And with this off, essentially just turns on and off preview. I like to have that on. Uh, and then there's a visual octave shift, and this will just uh, switch to a different octave, set this to two, and that's the same as using these buttons. But it's great if you wanna have different banks of, of samples and uh, jump to them like that. There's also a layering mode, enable that, and you can drag multiple samples in, and they will be triggered by the same key. And then there's some other options here. First, we'll do the dock MPL RS5K manager, click that, and that puts that into Reaper's dock. And, and so we have tons of space to work with this now. I'm also gonna open up the Media Explorer. Now we can drag and drop samples in. So I'm gonna take this sample, and I'm gonna drop that on 47. So that imported that in, I can open up my um, MIDI editor in the dock as well. Let's shrink this a little bit. There's the new bass drum. So now let's look at the mute and solo buttons. So I'll take my hi-hat closed and I'll hit solo. And that will make it so that only this instance of the plugin is enabled and all the other ones will be disabled. I'm gonna turn off the multiple samples per pad mode so that I can show you the effects button here. What this actually does is move the instance of the plugin to its own track and then set up MIDI routing. So the RS5K manager or actually this original track is still going to send MIDI to that plugin, but then we have its own audio output. I'll just take that new high, uh, kick drum that I imported, click on effects, ask you here, create a new MIDI send, routing for the sample, click yes. That makes a new track. It moves that bass drum sample to this new track, opens up the window so we can see it. It's still managed by this script, but it's sending MIDI from uh, the main track into this other track. The plugin itself belongs here, but we can add an EQ, we can add compression, but anything we want can go on this track, um, but the MIDI is still controlled by this first track. One more thing I'll show you. I'm just gonna grab another sample like uh, this hi-hat. So I'm gonna drop it into the timeline and I'm gonna select the first track. In the manager, I'm gonna go to export selected items to RS5K instances. So I click that. And I'm gonna set the bass pitch to be, uh, let's do note 46. And that should be right here. All right. You can just ignore that script window. And then this, this comes up here. We can export this to a new track. And so I've got a dedicated track for the sound of the hi-hat, which can be managed in RS5K Manager when it's selected or when the original track is selected. So I think that's pretty much it. There's so much you can do with RS5K Manager. Uh, if you are a fan of the Resamplematic 5000 plugin included with Reaper, this is going to make things a lot easier for you, especially if you want to use it for drums. I know the MPL wants to do a whole lot more with this. So if you like this script and you want to see it developed further, please send MPL a donation. You can get the donation link right in the RS5K Manager. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.